welcome. I'm Michelle Merchant Johnson with Love Life Coaching, and I'm here with my wonderful friend, Ken Page, author of Deeper Dating. Welcome, Ken. Hello, glad to be here. Ken and I just recorded an incredible interview that is so powerful and inspiring for an upcoming event called Find the One in 21. And we want to invite you to join us for this event by clicking on the link below. It's entirely free, but you do have to register. But Ken, just to give people just a little tiny taste of what's to come, can you share one thing that you find in doing this wonderful work that you do in the world that holds people back from having the love that they truly desire? Absolutely. And it's not something I talked about a lot in, um, in our interview. So I'm excited to say what it is. What it is, is bad myths about how to find love. And what are some of those bad myths? One is play hard to get. Research shows that that does not work. Letting somebody know that you're a discriminating person and the qualities they have that you really like, letting them know about that, that's an aphrodisiac. That's one thing, this playing hard to get thing. Another thing is that men are taught that they have to be a certain kind of alpha male and women are taught, God forbid, that you let go of your femininity, you'll scare off men. None of these things are the deeper truth. The deeper truth is that your authentic self is where your magic lies. That's another example. Third thing is it's not a numbers game. Your age, your location, how far you might live from other people, uh, challenges or disabilities that you might have, your income, your shyness, all of those things don't matter. They might increase your odds if you've got certain ones of those things in maybe finding dates, but in finding love, not at all. It's who you are and how you live. And I have seen 90-year-old people. I have seen paraplegics. I've done research on all of this for my book, and I have met countless people who, when they shifted the way they looked for love, magic happened. It's nowhere near as much of a numbers game as they tell you it is. There is so much more hope when you choose a wiser path to look for love. So those are just some of the kind of myths that we get that are so unhelpful and that we need to transcend and find the deeper truths that actually really lead us to healthy love. Yeah, so important. And I just so resonate with you and your work, Ken. And I really want to invite people to join us for the full event so they can hear your full interview. Because in your full interview for this event, you talked so much about some of the real and truths and helpful steps that can help people to get out of that cycle of feeling like they're just kind of stuck and not moving forward in their love lives. And Absolutely. so, yeah. And so I'm so grateful for your contribution and also for you and the work that you do in the world. And I really appreciate your support, Ken, and um, really want to invite everybody to join us. So click on the link below. Happy New Year. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye, everybody.